Good morning and aloha. What is up you guys? I'm Cora Bell and today we're going to talk about why I chose the BPI as my university of choice. Um, even I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> the number one question that people ask me when I'm in college is why did I go here? Why did I come here? All the way from Maui, Hawaii to Massachusetts. So let's jump in. Why did I choose the BPI? Okay, so when it comes down to it, I was a senior in high school and I was stuck between USC, WPI, and University of Hawaii at Manoa. Those are my, those are my top three. So I, I was kind of like trying to balance out what I want and what I want for myself. And again, the three things I was looking at is quality of education, financial aid, and study abroad or traveling. And I just wanted to overall experience um, something new and stop being so tied down to, to a rock. You know, that's how stubborn I am. I like, wanted to explore, I wanted to get out there and see what's in the world. What, what, um, because there's so much to discover, right? So um, yeah, there's that. So when it came down to it, um, what brought the BPI to the top of my list um, it's kind of funny because the BPI was the only New England school that I applied to. I was so sure I was going to apply to school and go to school on the West Coast, but I ended up using the BPI out of all places, which I think is really funny. Because the BPI had a strong project-based learning program and they had study abroad embedded within their program, so for those of you that don't know, there's um, something called IQP, Interactive Qualifying Project at WPI, that students do and that um, combines humanities and engineering. I thought, okay, um, I really want to do something like that. That's really cool. And they also have robotics engineering, which is something that, like a very highly rated robotics engineering program that brought it over the top for me. And there was a lot of good reviews. Students were saying good things. Professors seemed good. WPI offered me a very generous financial aid package. And USC wasn't quite there, but it's still a really good school. Like I'd be paying for the brand basically. And also, University of Hawaii of Manila, also a pretty strong contender, but at the same time, it's still in Hawaii. And I didn't want to stay in Hawaii necessarily. I wanted to travel. So I decided to take that leap of faith. And to this day, I will still be very thankful to UH Manoa for offering me a very generous scholarship as well. Scholarships. So, um, dang man, thinking back at it, like every winter that I stayed here in Massachusetts, I got to experience all four seasons, which I've always wanted to do. But winter here is so brutal, it, I would like cry, I'm like, why did I come here? And then I'd be like, okay, bitch, now that we need to do our ECU homework. Um, but at the end of the day, it was all worth it. So, those are my top reasons. And I hope this was helpful. Okay, you guys, so if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It'll help my channel a lot. And as always, please take care of each other, manifest good things, and aloha.